Hello, how are you doing? My name is Doreen Moramoracha. I'm a young woman living with HIV. I was born with HIV very many years ago. I've been on treatment since 2005. And uh, when we started treatment, I was taking a cocktail of medication. And now I only take one pill because a lot of things that came from the HIV space, we've changed from taking all the cocktail of medications to now we only take one pill to a world where we now have an injectable ARV. And I hope that we all across the world will be able to use it very soon. Uh, however, today I want us to unpack a little bit of science behind people in the HIV world called elite controllers. These are people who usually control the HIV virus without being on any medication. But you don't just declare yourself an elite controller. It has to be done in the aspect of uh, the medicine world, the research world, and the scientific world. And today you're going to hear a few of their stories, and you're also going to hear them explain to you how they do it, because there are a rare group of individuals and I want you to uh, hear it from the horse's mouth. I also want you to hear from the researchers and scientists who are working with them very closely and you're going to understand the concept of elite controllers. Uh, another beautiful thing has happened uh, at age 2024, which is the conference that convenes advocates, researchers, scientists from across the world, and the seventh patient has been announced of being cured of HIV. Uh, this seventh patient is from Berlin, Germany, and uh, we had our first patient who was uh, Timothy Ray Brown, the, the first Berlin patient, and now we have a second Berlin patient. We don't know their identity yet, but as time goes by, we're going to know who they are, and this shows hope for a HIV cure. This shows that research is working. This shows that scientists are working. And I want us to hold on to the hope that one day we're going to say we used to have HIV. I learned I had HIV in the year 2000. That's when the doctor told me, look, I think you are an elite controller where their blood kills HIV. Elite controllers are able to control the HIV viral load to undetectable levels for an extended period of time, despite not taking any antiretroviral therapy. Elite controllers appear to have a unique genetic makeup. They have favorable HLA class 1 molecules, and that enables them to present the virus much better to the immune system, and that enables the immune system to recognize the virus much better, and then that leads to effective control of the virus by the immune system. As you have heard, there are individuals, there are rare individuals though, that are able to suppress the HIV virus without being on ARVs. We all know that the lower the viral load, the better the outcome of the person living with HIV. However, the, when it comes to elite controllers, they are able to manage and control their viral loads without being on ARVs. Understanding and unpacking the whole aspect of HIV elite controllers is very helpful and very important for scientists across the world in research and in a hope of very many new developments such as the HIV vaccine as well as the HIV, a possible HIV cure. I am manifesting a HIV cure. And with all of this, it also gives us a deeper understanding in viral suppression and immune control of these beautiful individuals. And I am hoping that in the African region, we continue investing in seeing how many people do we have who are HIV elite controllers and how can we use this in research and science to help us continue making a difference and giving hope to the millions of people living with HIV across the world. I just saw a video on nature.com and I'm very impressed about what scientists and researchers are doing in using genomics as a targeted engine in the HIV response. My hope for the future is that understanding the human genome in Africa will contribute to better therapeutics that are specifically designed for individuals of African descent and that will give the rest of HIV infected participants around the world hope. In 2019, I started my treatment and that is program. It teaches us a lot, it helps me a lot to understand more about this disease and I'm not afraid. I still have hope for life. I'm very excited about our new ambition to launch a national 110,000 human genome program for South Africa. It would mean that we would have created a resource for our healthcare system, addressing a very, very big gap. 
seeing institutions such as the South African Medical Research Council, the University of KwaZulu Natal South African Clinics, and MGI, which is the gene sequencing company, invest in genomics and ensuring that they're doing research in the African region gives me so much hope and so much race of progress that we are headed into the right direction. And I hope to see a very beautiful future uh, as we head towards 2030 in ending AIDS as a pandemic and as a public health threat. HIV has been in the world for over 40 years now and we have heard from researchers, we have heard from people living with HIV who are able to control the virus on their own without antiretrovirals. We have heard from the work that is being done on science and even the new uh, Berlin patient that has been announced at the AIDS 2024 conference that just concluded that there is hope. But there's one thing that has not changed in the HIV world. We have not changed stigma. We have not changed the narrative around stigma. And I would like for us, as we go forward, as we move on into uh, towards 2030, for us to reduce the amount of stigma towards people living with HIV. The discrimination has to stop. We must normalize the HIV conversations. We must look at people living with HIV as human beings and not the virus that we host. We are greater than HIV every day. We are beautiful stories. And as of 2024, I want to state for a fact that HIV is a manageable lifelong uh, illness and it is preventable as well. So HIV has changed and you must change as well. That's all for me. Continue liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you.